In an earlier upload on the topic of De Palma's 2002 feature Femme Fatale, I claimed that that feature was the first instance of De Palma imagining his Hitchcock tendencies as a process toward Bergman or Persona, in that case inspired by an auto such as Lynch and Mulholland Drive. However, really, maybe 1972's Sisters could be considered, to some extent, the earlier effort from De Palma to transform controversial sexually charged thrillers, Hitchcock movies, into art theory conductors, Fink Goddard, Antonioni, Warhol, and considered De Palma's generational peer Altman, also a wannabe satirist, a more considered and designated satirist throughout his film career. Unleashing the thriller Images in 1972, also a definite homage to Bergman, almost certainly more so. Insofar as Sisters by De Palma is Bergmanian, we have to assume its screenplay is employing overt symbolism and wide psychological archetypes. There is no coincidence or incidental decision within Sisters. Every character's behaviour, career choice, societal disposition, sexual orientation, or skin colour is calculated to vaguely posit a psychosexual Freudian behaviourist post-60s nihilism targeting the counterculture itself, dissecting the notion of subjective identity as thin and superfluous. Rogue and Camel's performance is one of the most confident texts on the subject of this era. In an effort to be closer to the pre-hippie, quasi-beat, outsider art, alt-capitalist marketing auteurs, pop art, which was not a progressive political movement and may not have been politically conservative, but loved traditions and designated kish for its own sake, in defiance of both formal art school and informal egalitarian leftist rethinking, reconsiderations, iconoclasm. Sisters could be considered a generating work for some manner of professed sexual vanguards of gender philosophers, insofar as it so aggressively posits the existence of gender roles, sex as omnipotent engine, power structures compounded with biology and human casual intercourse, or even intercourse period, as both the repressed object and the catalyst for the conceptual family in psychoanalytic terms. Sisters was the American thriller most likely informed by university lecture theory and deconstructive analysis, a thriller existing subsequent to the psychological examinations of Hitchcock via his mainstream films, eternally debated the degree of psychosexual intent submerged or considered from the filmmaker himself, this successor conscious and excited for the magazine writer's analysis for the eruptions of in the gender theory world, eager to be held as a manifestation of cultural ley lines, and insisting that genre films, or of the thriller mold at least, be considered incursions into the mainstream of high society modern art discourse and artifacts of cross-class material barriers being extinguished via a screen. Fire equal measures, the more working life viewer and the wealthier academic observer can permit sisters to reorganize their existing assumptions about overarching categories. And both via the very universal act of just allowing it to be more than it is on the surface, the film's screenplay encourages us to do so for human behavior and identity categories in the first place, obviously, and then we could doubly so to a title designated by an omnipotent body as an explicit thriller for bloodlust ruffians and those yearning for erotic titillization or edgy bravura, then letting it reveal itself as an admirer of Ingmar Bergman's mystifying persona. Sisters is more impressive within the context of wider De Palma features. Imagining Sisters as the final De Palma feature leaves on imagining a vaguely dissatisfying emptiness after Sisters comes to a close, a filmmaker who hadn't explored all of his ideas as well as he could have, Although, then considering the likes of Carrie, Obsession, The Fury, Dressed to Kill, Blah, Body Double, and then obviously Femme Fatale, Sisters feels more like one of a collection of cogent concepts, as opposed to one which was partly non-serious and almost certainly stream of consciousness, but the kind of stream of consciousness which felt confident that impressing the intellectual clique would make for an inherently interesting film, which it did, it usually does. And even if it doesn't, it will in time. Just see what Robin Wood has to say about Sisters. Very positive assessment indeed. It is not my favourite De Palma film of the 70s. My two favourites are, well, we'll get to those two next. Both of them soon.